Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Music Marketing TV. I'm Tandy, and thanks for tuning in. Today, we're going to be looking at Cyclop by Sugar Bites, and I'm going to show you guys some, you know, tricks, tricks and tips to get you guys started, to get some sound going through, and pretty much to get the creative juices flowing. Alright, so, first tip, I like to just turn off all the filters. You know, we don't really use a filter right away. We can hear the natural uh, synthesizer. Right. Uh, second tip is start with one oscillator, um, just like so. Start your mixer in split mode, so you can just hear one thing at a time. You can also just you know toggle it left and right. But uh, since I'm just uh, muting a whole bunch of stuff, you can leave it down in the center. Um, all right. So now you can choose what kind of synthesis you want. You know, solid arrangement, analog sync and whatever whatever you want to choose mess around with that then you would open up your filter right so um you know go ahead and mess around like that so choose your synthesis um however many oscillators you want then go into the filters and i'm going to leave the filters off just for now and we're going to use the wobble effect all right just to get some uh, cool sounds going so notice how I move that up and nothing's going. Uh, what you want to do is make sure you're in this uh, button right here. You click wobble amount and mess around with the oscillator. Like, uh, let's just use something else here. I'll use analog sync. Ooh, that was high pitched. All right. So uh, we're going to mess around with this little pan pot. Just, you know, we're going to pretty much mimic that kind of sound. And this is pretty much right here. So you can find your synths here, one and two, filters one and two. And each fader represents the knob. So there's three here, there's three here. So from left to right, I would be controlling these things and so on and so forth. All right, so I'm just going to move this up. Right, and I'm gonna leave it somewhere right, somewhere there. And right now, my wobble amount is set to a sine wave at the slowest position. Right, so as you move up, it does change in time. You can also see it here. Right, and you can also set this up for, let's say, a live or program situation where I would go into this uh, wobble knob which looks like and I would so I would select the velocity sets knob position so depending on how hard I hit if I'm doing this in a live situation it changes the tempo of that wobble effect Right, so you guys pretty much get the idea. But if I wanted to do this in a programmable situation, um, which is really cool, I would go into um, my piano roll for this um, synthesizer. And let's say if I wanted, you know, C5, whatever. C5. We can definitely change velocity to control you know how we want it right so maybe in the beginning I want it something like this we make that longer so you can hear this right so that just makes things so much easier when we want to change it up in our song right um, the next tip that I would uh, give you give you guys is pretty much setting up um, you know this stuff right here like check this out definitely going to use the distortion alright so um, those are some really quick ways to get some creative juices flowing 
hope you guys enjoyed. If you have, if you have any questions or comments, you know, just leave one below. I'm Dan D from Music Marketing TV, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace!